Well, hello everyone. It's Deli here today. How are you going? Why is cold pressed orange juice so good? This isn't sponsored because there's no label, but oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Famous. So I have been busily working on this LP a little bit behind the scenes. When you guys watch this episode, we are going to have full new outfits for the kids. Their rooms have been separated. They're now in two different rooms and they also have beautiful spoiled bedrooms that are so extra i'm so excited to show you guys and tomorrow i think or maybe the next day i'll release the process of giving them their makeovers and the room makeover and yeah without further ado let's get into the game cheers and also as always don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below it lets me know to make more videos all right welcome back to our beautiful home in del sol valley it is a bit of a rainy old day today and it is winter fest i didn't even get the a Christmas tree quickly we need to get them Christmas trees okay I'm just gonna put a ready-made Christmas tree here because like we are so rich we don't have time to decorate our own Christmas tree let's go a rainbow one because I feel like Imogen would like to get something really bright and beautiful for her kids let's just pop some presents around because they're gonna have lots of presents for the kids birthdays uh, we decided that we'd get them a dog and you know what it's kind of good because it's like a joint winter fest slash birthday gift so I kind of like that a lot uh also these little ones can be in a bit of a rainbow color too and maybe we'll just put like a couple of garland things along here oh no they aren't lined up and trust me Imogen is not gonna be happy if her Christmas decorations are not lined up perfectly that above the door Let's put these little things over here. Maybe some Christmas cards as well, because you know, oh, that's birthday card. There we go. Cute, they'd be so popular. Oh my gosh, imagine how many Christmas cards you would get if you were a celebrity. I feel like I never use this little masterpiece, but it's kind of cute. <gasps> And then a holiday wall speaker because I want to hear all of the Christmas tunes today. Welcome! It's so Christmassy. Oh. Imogen's like, oh, the bubble put up the decorations. I'm so excited. I've also removed one of the nannies because I felt like it was a little bit overboard to have two nannies. Um, so we've just got Amanda here. The other nanny is still in the world, so the kids might want to go see her again um but amanda's just going to be the sole nanny that helps out with everything so let's get her to cook a grand meal i'm gonna get her to make a tofurkey dinner because maybe imogen has decided to go on a plant-based diet and she doesn't want to eat any meats um oh she's got her little star walk and i also think she should definitely update her social media status definitely add to her instagram story and star do you already have a phone of course you do of course you do hello oh gosh you're a stanky girl oh dear oh and she's gonna be so excited because why because we have christmas decorations it's like yay and look she has matching hair to imogen how cute is that so if you guys want to see her oh my gosh she's like i'm so stinky lol um oh oh and she's sleeping in her brother's bed good grief no i mean they've swapped beds they're not sleeping in the bed together okay i let's just not claim that one i've got to shut up now so it looks like her brother is sleeping in her bed maybe so i'm gonna show you guys the new rooms in just a second uh basically over here in this room we used to have the toddlers in the same room and it was a little bit bigger but i've made it slightly smaller because i've added a shared bathroom as well so this is star's little room i mean i think it's really extra like she's got a flat screen tv she's got her own fireplace she's got a wardrobe with like beautiful fairy lights i think this is really pretty and she has like one of her favorite costumes from a film on the wall and i was about to say that's the actual costume the actress wear, but it's probably a little bit tiny so maybe it's like the mock-up the design created and yeah her princess bed look at that view out there she's like that's the world that I can go out into and become just as famous as my mom then you go through here this is the shared bathroom which goes through to her brother's room and of course they have their own basin because hello as if they're gonna share a basin please that is just unheard of oh the best void critter I got in a fight with someone at school at which void critter is more powerful I said it was the Articorn but he kept saying Sunta. Which one is it? Both are equally powerful. The Octicorn, of course. Like, our son's always right. <laughs> Jeez, and whiskers. This parenting is, is a worry. And then uh, we 
still have kind of a similar area here. However, um, there's a little corridor. I actually quite like this floor plan, to be honest, that comes through here. And then this is her brother's room. And it is actually based on the fire void critters. So there's lots of orange. I, I love the son's room, actually. I think it's so cool. It's got like the TV there, the fireplace. And yeah, it, it looks pretty awesome. So that's what we did. That, those are the changes. And also for the nanny's room, because there were two single beds upstairs, that's now be changed ever so slightly. Uh, oh, what is going on here? There's a bed on top of a bed. Okay, just ignore that. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yeah, it's just been changed a little bit. So you know what? The nanny's being really well looked after. I have to say, like, if you were an au pair, you'd be pretty stoked to be living there. Oh my gosh, why are you guys sitting out here? What is this? Like learning how to be a man and not let the weather affect you or upset you? Okay, then. <laughs> Right here, Joe. All right, so where's little Cosmo? Oh, he's right here. Duh. How cool does he look in his sunnies? Kid, you are tired. You should go to bed. Was he up all night? I did tell them to go to bed. Uh, a little star here is in her princess outfit. She is a star. And Amanda's just, you know, eating the grand meal. <laughs> Love that. Uh, let's see. Let's see how Imogen Ray is going. Imogen, look at that booty booty. Oh, she's thinking, hmm. I could really redo the dining area. I feel like we need some hanging lights. That would look much nicer. Oh, and orange is over here in the kitchen. All right, let's have a little parental moment. Oh my gosh, try for baby in closet. How exciting. Um, discuss the gourmet dishes. Look at her strut. She walks so slowly and like sways her butt from side to side. A little ridiculous. Everything in this house is ridiculous. Oh. Merry Christmas, honey buns. Why did the nanny leave this on the floor? Ew. That's so bad. Let's put the grand meal on the table. Oh, and of course, we don't need these high chairs anymore, which is really exciting. So let's get rid of those. Uh, it would actually be kind of fun to maybe put some really nice chairs at the end of the table, like super bougie accent chairs. I'm just trying to pick only that chair up, and I wasn't sure if it was working just then. Like we could get this in a brown leopard print color. Where is the leopard print? Oh no, does it not come in the leopard print in these chairs? I don't think it does. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of ugly, but it kind of works. It kind of goes. I mean, oh, I just hit the mic and it scared the bejesus out of me. Maybe we'd have to change the chairs to black for it to really work nicely together. Also, because our house is so big, um, it's lagging my game like crazy. Like this is the only game that has been lagging. And yeah, it's kind of, I don't know. That's another reason why I might want to downsize. But when I've mentioned downsizing, you guys were all like, no, don't downsize. So now I don't know what to do. <laughs> but the lagging is kind of annoying. Oh, it looks like everyone's pretty full, pretty happy. He can have a shower. Amanda's eaten. She can go to the bathroom. Uh, okay. Well, we'll get little Star to eat something, grab a serving. And Albert Ponce, hey, I heard you became friends with Amanda. She's pretty cool. I mean, she's like our nanny. She's not my friend nah they i think they love amanda i mean amanda's brought them up from them being young kids so they would like her a lot i think <sighs> okay it's kind of sad the family isn't eating together on christmas morning <laughs> oh well we should look at getting a dog i mean i think they should look at adopting dogs because that just seems like a nicer idea all right let's go over to here and adopt a puppy and some of you guys were actually saying you should get a puppy for each twin which is pretty spoiled getting a puppy for each kid but again we have so much money, the nanny can look after the pet. Like the nanny can be a dog trainer as well. So maybe we should just do that. Household, buy a vet clinic. Uh, no, let's adopt a dog. Okay, well, let's look for a dog maybe for Star. At least they're adopting, you know, adoption's good. And I'm proud that Imogen is doing that. I think even though she's been very material materialistic and her morals have been a little off center at times, I think she is a sim that's growing up to be like a strong woman and she's going to be doing good things in the world. So that's exciting. There are so many dogs for adoption. Holy moly. Okay, I mean, a lot of you guys were saying you should get a dog that's a real like pretty dog, but I think a cute dog works okay. <gasps> oh, Kano, so cute. <gasps> Justice, the Boston Terrier, so cute. The only thing is they've all been spayed and 
nurtured, nurtured, however you say it, except for Joey, which is a male puppy, a black and tan coon hound. The other option is maybe we could just adopt one dog and then add the other dog to the household. We'll get Joey for Cosmo. Oh, Cookie is so cute because I've actually never had puppies. So I'd actually like to try and do that if we can. <laughs> so let's get Joey. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, we'll get Joey. Okay, so Joey can be for Cosmo. <gasps> Imogen's like, oh, I'm so excited to show the kids their puppies. And uh, then we'll give Star more of a designer dog, I think, uh, in Creator Sim. Oh, she's gonna tell Orange. <laughs> Check this out. She's gonna go hug Orange and be like, sweetie, I got the kids a dog. <laughs> Orange should come out here and be like, oh, there's a dog in the room. By the way, can we just appreciate this guy's hair? Like, hello, he's even dyed his beard and eyebrows. That takes a lot of, what? It's a whole family in matching t-shirts. Good grief, we should probably say hi to them. I'm just like, what? Why is there a dog in the house? What have you done, Imogen? We didn't speak about this. But he's so chill. He'll just do whatever Imogen says. She's like, sweetie. Oh gosh, that walk is starting to frustrate me. It's so slow. <laughs> oh, like, sweetie, thank you so much. The kids will love the puppies. Oh, I'm You're the best. <laughs> Okay, where's the adoption guy? Is he just like wandering around our house? Cause he's like, wow, I've never been to a celebrity house before. Like seriously, is he helping himself to a drink? He's all suited up. So he's a, like a, a celebrity. Oh my gosh, way to help yourself. <laughs> oh, the dog's over here. Look how cute he is. He's so tiny. He's a teeny tiny puppy. <laughs> All right, a missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and to feel sad. <sighs> I knew that feeling. Play with a different toy. You have so many toys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so now we've taught our kids to, when she loses a toy, just ask for a new one. That's, that's great. <laughs> that's really great parenting. Okay, let's do a friendly introduction to the little puppy and then let's adopt the little puppy. You are so cute. I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. <laughs> Hi, Blorin. She's like, hello, little puppy wuppy woo. Why is it that when I see puppies, I want to speak in like baby puppy language? It's kind of weird. Are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Oh, yay, we can rename him. Well, I don't feel like Joey really works. What about, uh, maybe because Cosmo is going to like void critters, we could call him Critter. Critter, I think that's kind of cute. <gasps> I wanted to take a picture. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You know, often when ah, you put in the it. thumbnail a picture of the sim holding the puppy, YouTube algorithm will demonetize the video because oh. it looks a little bit like <laughs> a penile, like holding a penile. So if you guys are new to Wapping YouTube, up. just watch out for that. Oh, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. Okay, okay. Now we need to get the other puppy. So let's just jump into Create a Sim. I'm so excited for puppies. <laughs> oh, I thought in Create a Sim you could add puppies easily. So you actually have to put a cheat on to get a like a brand new dog, I think. Okay, I've popped on the Create a Sim cheat. So let's go into here and add a puppy for Star. So let me just double check. Critter is a guy, yeah. So we will make the girl puppy a female. <laughs> we'll make the girl puppy a female. Well done, Deli. <laughs> oh, this dog is so cute, it's so weird looking. Okay, let's see, what's a designer, a designer dog? Oh my gosh, that dog is actually pretty cool. I think when people think of designer dog, they think of little dogs, but there's so many like beautiful dogs that are designer dogs that aren't like little handbag dogs. I know a lot of you guys wanted us to get a pug. Oh my gosh, we could get a chihuahua. Can we? Ooh, and a lot of you guys were saying that Lux should get a raccoon or a fox just because it's cool and different, which I am totally down for that. Oh, a King Charles. Oh, it's Evie. Maybe a chihuahua. Is that how you say it? Is it chihuahua? I feel like I put wow on a lot of words like Jojo so wow. Like chihuahua, 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 chihuahua. 
No, I'm pretty sure it's Chihuahua. Oh, the Bull Terrier is really cute, you guys. I can't pick it. Maybe let's just search for a pug because I've forgotten what they look like in The Sims. A puggle. Oh, guys, maybe we should get a pug. Although I feel like pugs are so two years ago and all of you guys who have gorgeous little pugs will be so triggered right now. I, I love pugs. They're very, very cute. I'm kidding. Oh, this is a puggle. <laughs> let's get a chihuahua. Uh, I'm just wondering what color. I mean, let's just get the lighter one. I think that's cute. And let's make it look really like struggle town by putting its eyes inwards because it's just so cute. Uh, and we'll make one eye blue just because it's fun and different that's kind of cute and in paint mode now nah, we won't paint anything onto it yet and we need a name for chihuahua i feel like a little girl would probably name her pet after a disney princess or something so maybe we'll call it let's call it cinderella or tinkerbell wait isn't that the name of paris hilton's dog chihuahua maybe we might have totally copied paris hilton but that's okay that works a vocal dog okay let's have a couch potato who's also a little bit playful does that make sense a couch potato who's like who plays a lot and then gets really tired and then just is like mm. <laughs> and let's make you into a little puppy tinkerbell oh wow that's cute that's cute and of course she's gonna need a little outfit. Oh wait, the puppies can't have outfits yet. Okay, so we have Critter here. Critter is so cute and is cross-eyed as well. And Tinkerbell, yes. <laughs> okay, little Tinkerbell. Oh, look who's here. It's, it's Xavier and he always has the best fashion sense. So maybe he's come over here for Winterfest. Let's give a gift. We can't give any of those gifts. Okay, and I think he just left. Wow, all right then. <laughs> we should probably have a dinner party for Christmas time. Okay, well, let's offer our friendship to this little doggy and then let's bring the doggies inside uh, and give the kids their gift. Okay, so I'm going to get Imogen to gift a ball to Cosmo as a clue. So give Winterfest gift, give the ball, and then he can find out that he's going to be given a poppy. Okay, surprise. He's like, for me, mom? Thanks, what could it be? What? A poppy? You've gotta be kidding me, mom. I'm not kidding. And here is little Critter waiting for his new friend. He's like, oh my gosh, Critter, you're so cool. You're awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of Cosmo that he gets a puppy and I don't have one. He's being a good boy. He's talking to, to Critter before he goes up to pat him. Like, hey, little guy. You're gonna be my best friend. Aww. <laughs> I love this, you guys. And Orange is going to give his little princess star the same kind of gift. She's gonna get a pink ball. He's like, don't worry, mom and I didn't forget about you. She's like, oh my gosh, am I gonna get a puppy too? Dad, you're the best dad ever. <laughs> Where is the little Tinkerbell? Oh my gosh, Tinkerbell's all the way over here. Tinkerbell's like a really naughty doggy. Hey, Tinkerbell! Let's pick you up and get to know and pet. Come here, Tinkerbell! Come here! Aw, look! Oh, they look so happy together. <laughs> oh, and then she's just gonna leave Tinkerbell there. Um, maybe we should call Tinkerbell in. Tinkerbell, how are you stuck already? This always happens with the puppies. Okay, I might lock the door for the dogs because I don't want the puppies to get um, stuck all the time. So all dogs, but they can go out into the fenced area. I don't think they can get out of this area, can they? I'm pretty sure it's like all fully fenced in. Yeah, should be okay. Should be all right. And we do need to feed the pets. So let's make sure the kids are getting used to that so they can both fill up the food for each pet and then they can also fill all the pet bowls too. Good girl, so her responsibility has just gone up and Cosmo's responsibility is about to go up as well. So they're learning to make sure that their pets are well looked after. So let's, um, let's maybe set these sketch, uh, set them for every 
three hours. Oh, and he's taking the trash out. What a good boy. What a good boy. Set schedule time, three hours. It's like, thank you, Dad, so much. I'm going to make you a grilled cheese sandwich to thank you. Ooh. He's getting a little bit sick, isn't he? All right, have we still got tourists or paparazzi out the front of our house? Who is going through our bin? Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Amanda's like, do you like your new dog? Okay, let's maybe go here. Imogen can go out here and just see if any of the paparazzi are gonna come out. Uh, I'm curious. I mean, I guess it's 8.30 at night, so it's not as common for the paparazzi to be around. Also, uh, do we have a job opportunity yet? I don't think we do. Let's just see. Let's check for job ops because we haven't had a job for a little while. I'm a little bit concerned because of our break over the holidays, our winter break that we may be forgotten about. Let's see what's going to give us the most money because we do just need a lot of money. Treasures. Okay, fitness level seven. Fitness level five, definitely not as good money. I mean, I've forgotten what our fitness level is, but maybe let's do this one and just check out. Fitness, 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 fitness level six. Okay, so we will need to go to the gym. I'm thinking we go for a run now. So let's go jogging. Let's go for a late jog run. And then orange is dazed. Oh, Father Christmas is here. Hi. They probably asked Father Christmas to come so the beds could see them could see him but they're already in bed uh oh my gosh it's so sweet they must have been so tired out from the excitement of getting their pets oh i want the pets to be told to lie down in their room asked to lie down uh critter you can lie down there and then you can go back to sleep i don't think the puppies can get up the stairs yet and they're going under the couch to play so that's okay father christmas is like well i guess there's no kids around tonight uh, was anything else they needed to do father winter ask him for a present why not i mean we could get some extra money if we get a present uh so let's see friendly let's ask for presents and we'll get everyone to ask for a present i guess friendly introduction did imogen ask for a present uh take a selfie with fan father christmas is a fan it's like, have you been a good boy, Orange? He's like, I sure have, Father Christmas. Hmm. Oh, Amanda's feeling flirty. She's like, hello, Father Christmas. Whoa, Father Christmas got Orange a brand spanking new gift. It's so big it had to be put in the household inventory. The slablet. Cool. That's really, really cool because... Wait, what? That's not a slablet. Oh, the Sims inventory, my bad. I was like, what? That's not right. Uh, yeah, this thing. I mean, this is worth a thousand simoleons, so that's pretty cool. We can watch live streams. We can browse the web, uh, and we can also use that for the styling clear, I think, but you can just like watch a gaming live stream. That's kind of cool. And we'll get Amanda to ask for a gift as well, ask for a present. How is Imogen going? Has her, oh my gosh, look at her. She looks so sassy. She's such like a yummy mommy. This is goals. This is what I want to be like. <laughs> And she's gonna be jogging for a long time because that fitness is pretty low. Uh, but I'm also aware that she has a audition at 9 a.m. So she is, we're gonna have to keep her jogging until she's too tired, then she can go to sleep. Oh my gosh, did you see that awkward interaction where she bumped shoulders with Judith? Awkward. Oh, that's all you're doing tonight? What, Father Christmas got Amanda a brand new gift, the Lyrical Amplifier karaoke machine. Oh. I mean, Amanda, I know you're our nanny and we were going to buy you something, but honey, we need the money. Let's pop that in there. <laughs> I feel so bad. We've just sold the nanny's gift. Like, what kind of family are we? We are horrible people. Oh my gosh, Judith is like trying to say goodbye to us. And Imogen's like, oh, bye. Bye, Judith. So nice to oh, run past you. Dag, dag. Okay, uh, can you please give us a present though? We've been a good girl this year. I mean, we've done lots of really dodgy stuff, but we're changing. Ask for a present, there we go. This is so cool. We're just like hanging out with Father Christmas. Critter is a friendly pet. How is he going actually? Uh, look at these two getting along and one day they shall have cute little puppies. Maybe Amanda should come out here and like help train them, ask to go potty. Pet care. Oh, there's not really much we can do right now, is there? 
Uh, we got a Crisponix Ultra Great with Deluxe Crisper. I have no idea what that is. Oh my gosh, he got us a fridge. Are you serious? Well, we're definitely gonna sell that. Imogen, getting those sweet, sweet spotters. Marinette. That awkward moment when it. even the butler is your fan. Oh, that's Aww. nice. She's hugging the butler. Well, what I might do is get Orange to go to sleep, Amanda to go to sleep. Uh, Imogen, I'm going to keep getting her to work out. Yes, she is a little bit obsessive at this stage, but she really wants to get those auditions. She realizes that she is the bacon bringer in this family right now. Orange is not really bringing the bacon. But um, we're going to have to think about what he's going to do for a job. I mean, he could just get a normal job. He does have a parenting skill. Does he have any other? He has fitness level three, which isn't too bad. Oh, is that all she will do because she's too uncomfortable? Let's see. Let's see if she'll get up again. I mean, she's obsessive, but she's okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, I'm going to leave this part right here. Let me know what you thought of it and let me know what you think of our new puppies, Critter and Tinkerbell. I'm very excited to have them as part of the family. I think the kids are going to love training them and bringing them up. In the next part, I want to make sure that the kids get to know their puppies a little bit more. And I also want to sign them up for acting school stat. Yeah, if you have any ideas for what Orange should do, I know a few of you guys have said maybe getting into the music career. Uh, we could maybe do that. It's a bit of effort to build it up or we could get him just like a normal job. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning after your evening wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to speak to you soon. So, so, dag, dag.